play that day. How can you have a better sophomore season than freshman season? Wow, I mean, that's been a long time. That game was a while ago. Uh, hopefully, going to this year, having a better year is you know, making it a little bit further than we did. Win a couple of games, and that's both the Big Ten tournament in the league. Uh, you know, hopefully, finishing a one or two. We'd like to like to finish at the top, obviously. But NCAA tournament, we thought we had too early to exit last year, so that's definitely a team goal of ours is to make the tournament. And hopefully, win a couple of games. Yeah, you kept talk about the dynamic of the team without Melo being back. Uh, how has your role changed, or you and Anthony? How do you feel? What's the Kevin Herter this year going to look like? I think a lot of people just feel, you know, we're going to have increased roles. You know, I think we're going to be able to do a lot more than we did last year. Uh, guys maybe moving down, playing more comfortable positions. I think a lot of that had to do with some of the injuries we had last year. But, you know, without Melo, I think that allow, you know, other guys to, you know, have the ball in their hands a little bit more. And uh, I think we're definitely looking forward to it. Talk about some of the freshmen that joined the squad. Uh, the kid from St. Joe, Morsel, and uh, Bruno. And great additions. Really good additions. They definitely add toughness to our team. They, uh, you know, Daryl's a really, really versatile card. He'll guard one through four. Uh, you know, he wants to be on the bottom on free throw box outs. He's that type of kid. He's just a really tough guard. And Bruno's been great. Uh, he's been out of practice, I think, for a week with his ankle, but he'll be all right. And, He's really good. Uh, you know, he's capable of lying. He's really good on both ends of the court. He can block shots. He can score on the post. He can shoot threes. And so we're definitely really excited for both. Coach talked a lot about uh, posting up. Uh, that he's working on a lot of that. I assume you're in that mix when you get that shorter guy on you. Yeah. You know. Hopefully moving down to the two spot, uh, you know, in certain lineups, I'm, I know I'll probably play both wing positions a little bit, but I may have different guys guarding me. And, uh, you know, this year that was something I definitely worked a lot on the offseason in my post-up game. And having smaller guys guard me, that'll definitely be something to utilize. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. How tall are you? Six, seven. All right, stand, we did this with Sean Owen. Stand up for a second. From yours. Bruce, hold this. All right. Let's take a look. So this is what six, seven in reality looks like. I'm still six, one. You play point guard. I did. I did a lot in high school. Yeah. You going to do that a little bit this year? Don't know yet, maybe. So how, uh, how tall were you when you were playing point guard? We could sit down there. Okay. <laughs> when I was in high school, I was about 6'6". Six, six. I've probably grown close to an inch since I've been here. And uh, point guard is something I was playing my whole life. Growing up, I always played with my brother, which was a year ahead of me. So I was actually always the smallest guy in the court. So I had to play point guard. Uh, exactly. And as I got older, uh, I grew in size, but I still had the point guard kind of skill. So I stayed at that. Uh, cool. Yeah, Mark is still playing. Look at him. He, he got a long career. Yeah, I'd love to see him. Oh, <laughs> you all get one-on-one -on -one with Don Marcus. It's yeah,